Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 323-405-1341. That's 323-405-1341. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal Buyer's Protection Guarantee. Slavery was a choice. You know why? Because you know what, what the alternative was? Death. Right. Freedom or death. So he's saying the ones that chose to, 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 to be enslaved chose that over death. That was a choice. I suppose and, you're and right. When, and when you talk about, but not really. I mean, modern day slavery, slavery, which he tried to also say is these contracts that we sign in with these record companies and shit. That's definitely a choice. That's definitely a choice. That's definitely a choice. Well, that's vastly different. The, the fact that he keeps comparing these really horrible things like George Floyd to the record industry is a fucking problem. Period. Like it shows a fundamental lack of understanding for. What I don't even doing. know why he brought up the George Floyd shit. To be honest, like, <laughs> bro, why did he bring up any of it, Jamar? He wasn't equipped to talk about any of it. Like that's the problem. We're having too many people have conversations. All due respect to Kyrie, is an incredible ball player. Okay, Kyrie spent 15 minutes at Duke. He's been playing basketball nonstop his whole life. Man watches the documentary and has things to say. That's not who needs to be having the conversations either. Like these conversations. these conversations need to be had by people who want to do the work and have the real conversations. And I don't oh, hold think up. You don't know what's in Kyrie's heart. Like you don't know, you know what I mean? His education level, all of that. Like, like you say, well, listen, I don't fuck with Duke. So there's a lot of bias uh, built in there. I apologize. Right. Um, <laughs> but, 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 but I do know this about Kyrie. He's an antagonist always. This is this is Kyrie stirs shit up all the time. Whether it's this, whether it's vaccine, whether it's I can't play for two weeks because I'm too I'm too upset about um, all the injustice going on in the world. Kyrie likes to garner conversation, and I don't always think that when he does that, he's doing the work behind it, or at least it doesn't feel like that when he talks. And in this case, I just wish. Listen, I was good with his apology. I was good. I don't need there to be more for him. And you don't need him to go to the Holocaust Museum and then sensitivity. By the way, they didn't even have it on the list. That would have been the one thing I might have put on the list. I might have been like, yo, bro, go, go to D.C. for a day. Get a hot dog. Go to the Holocaust Museum. Have yourself a day. But he needs to meet with the ADL. He needs to do that. Why are you trying to make this black man fucking bend the knee? But remember, I mean, is that, a, is that even a Jewish thing? The league didn't do shit. For all the powerful Jewish owners we have and a Jewish commissioner, the NBA didn't do shit. They sat on their hands and they waited and then shit got out of control. And now they're trying to make up for it by going so heavy handed. And the owner of the Nets, who's the one giving this out, isn't even Jewish. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Earlier, you Earlier talked you about talked how about certain how speech was dangerous because we saw where it led to and all of that. We also we all, saw where fascism, fascism and the and control of the people and all of that led to mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. that same thing. thing. So, so wasn't America supposed to be like a place of free speech and all of this shit? Of this like shit. we're in a time in now where they're talking about, talking about hate speech and shit like that. There's no such There's thing no as hate speech. speech. There's only hate. There's only, There's only speech you agree with and speech you don't agree with. Like that's part of, of America. Like how are we getting into this place now where regardless what you feel about the speech, how are we getting into this place where speech is being reprimanded and censored, and we're going against what is, quote unquote, the American way for this liberal bullshit. So, so wait, is this the weird area 
where Jamar, someone like Lord Jamar, ends up on the same page with like fucking right wing maniacs. Is this where? Is this in the Venn diagram where y'all come together in this vortex of fucking crazy? No. Does that sound crazy to be about free speech? Protecting hate speech to me. And honestly, there is no hate, hate speech. speech. See, that's that's a that's a cold word. Just like anti-Semitic is not real. Hate speech is not real. Homophobic is those are not real words. Those are not what real are, what things. Are they? Do they make their words? Those words are, those are, feel those are monikers that they put on people to try to control them, to try to control their speech so that so that you'll say, oh, no, I don't want to be that. What do I have to do to not be that? And then the person says, well, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to. And then they have control of you over you in America. OK, and, it, and this is not this is what I was taught, just like when they taught me about the Holocaust in, in elementary school, they also taught me about free speech in America. And I don't think that's being nutso or, or so right wing. And if, 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 a, if a Trump motherfucker does agree with that, then yeah, that is where the Venn diagram comes together. I do believe in free speech. Do you that's, believe you can, but you, but you, we don't have in America is you can't run in a crowded theater and, and say, say fire. there's a fire. And that's fire. not what and this I, is. That's not what this but is. That's a, that, that's a very blurry line to me. It really is. And by no, the way, that, you're no, sitting that. here on one hand, you're saying rap records should not be put out and profited off of if they're about certain things. But I'm you telling you, go on Twitter same, and yell the N word. I'm telling you, keep the same energy is what I'm saying. But that if energy we're gonna not do that. Different. I don't, I don't listen. Do I do I believe in free speech? Yes. But is there a certain morality that I also have where I feel like I don't want black people calling each other niggas? I don't want to see uh black uh girls on um Instagram half naked fucking flapping their ass around and all this stuff. I don't want to see that type of shit. Like, because I feel like that's morally uh, degrading to my people as a whole. And I don't want industries that um, promote that shit. But at the same time, as someone who lives in America, do I feel like you have the right to do that even though I don't agree? Yes, and y'all been doing mad shit that I don't agree with for the longest time. But Kyrie and Kanye had the right to say what they said. Right, but y'all acting like they don't. No, no, no. Like if no, they no, they're, say, just, they're just dealing with repercussions for what you said. You said if if I, I could get on the air tomorrow and say some heinous racist shit, if I want to, my career will be over. That will be the end. That would be my choice. I'm not going to do that. I don't feel that way. But you get my point. No one right. told Kanye he couldn't say what he said. He said, "Watch me. I dare them." Okay. He played fuck around and find out. And he found out that it's that that is a sensitive issue among a group that's powerful in the industry that has made you a billionaire. That's the most frustrating part about Ye having the conversation. Of all the motherfuckers to complain about shit, this dude, first of all, all the things he complains about the Jewish media doing, doing profiting off black people, stealing their ideas, not giving them credit. You know who does that? Fucking Kanye. Go ask Kid Cudi. Go right. ask Travis Scott. Go ask every person who shaped, go ask everyone who shaped the sound that Kanye's used. Go ask Big Sean. So Kanye, it ends up, I end up getting frustrated, pardon my excitement, because he's so full of shit, bro. And now we're dealing with this entire shit storm, which maybe it's good. Maybe some positivity will come from it. But we're dealing with this whole thing out of a conversation that was nothing but, I forgot how to make good music. I've invested myself in, in this clothing thing only. I don't, I don't know, know what to do. Because the fact is, Kanye hasn't made a great album since The Life of Pablo. If you want to get hip-hop about it, he hasn't made a great album since Life of Pablo. And now he wants to get attention, do this. He wants to marry the Kardashians, be a part of building their empire, then turn around and call them the devil. Super convenient. He, yo, Kim Kardashian would have never made it to being a billionaire without Kanye. They came together to build that shit. And then he turns around and plays the victim. Oh my God, the Kardashians. Well, it just, it gets tiring, man. Listen, I, I said earlier, I don't believe that his motives are the purest and 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, I listen. I I got on Kanye like when he was wearing the skirt and shit like that. I fucking was like, what? what like about the Confederate yeah, flag jacket? Fuck out of here, huh? What about the Confederate flag jacket? All listen, All I've been on this, on this motherfucker many, many times. times. You know what I mean? But but how y'all are actually helping Kanye right now is when the communities are now piling on him. Agreed. This is when, you see what I'm saying? This yeah, is absolutely. When you're making him making it seem like, well, damn, everything he's saying is 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 coming to pass. Like you know listen, what I mean? There are, bad, there are some bad motherfuckers in the entertainment business. Listen, you've been rapping about it since right. show business right. on Low End Theory thirty some odd years ago. Okay, this is you're you're maybe the first person I ever heard talk about the business. And was what's so business. funny is the original song. Yeah, that we did was about the alphabet people, and they made us change it. But what does the alphabet people mean? Sorry, L G B T A F G. No. Yes. And that was Q Tip's idea. So, so we and it was fire. It was more fire than the business. Poobah was on that one, and when they told us to change it, Poobah was like, "Fuck that! I'm not changing that shit." That's how Diamond got on the song. Because he was like, I'm not changing my shit. By the way, you probably shouldn't say LGBT F A G. That's probably not the I way. I didn't see that. I just said E F G. You see? Oh, you did? Okay. Okay. You Look did? at you. Look at you. I thought you said. I got scared. That's what I thought you said. And I was like, I better condemn that if that's what he said. Um, oh, wow, that's crazy. Oh, I better condemn that. You see, though? You see you how they get you I can't to where you're like, oh, shit. my goodness. I better, I better jump on the side of. You know, whatever these liter liberal people at the moment feel like is is the thing, I you better like condemn that bad or else I'm going to be... Listen, you act like that's such a bad thing. I'll, I'll give you an example. A couple weeks ago, we had a, um, an author call into uh, my sports talk show, and he, and he was uh, talking about his book, and, and the gentleman had a really strong stutter, okay? And we didn't know he had a stutter when we booked him for the call, whatever, so I was a little surprised when I heard him talk. And he was great, smart dude. Great right. writer. Back in the days, you could you could make fun of somebody's stutter. Well, but no, no, no. Not today. No, when, I went, when I went on Twitter, but hear me out. When I went on okay. Twitter, all I saw was compliments for him. And I'm like, yo, 15 years ago, without people being more sensitive, they would have been saying horrible shit. And they didn't. They actually were like, you know what? He did a great job. And I hear what you're saying. But there's something good about being polite and about being decent and not saying shitty things about other groups. That's, that's not a negative it's thing. Not, it's not. It's not about. See, it's not about being. I, I hear what you're saying, being polite and all that. Yeah, that's fine. But when you start getting put into positions where you feel compelled to do something because a certain group wants you to do something. And if you don't do that, then you're going to be labeled by this group. You know, that's some bullshit. Cause first it starts off with, um, what you can't say. Then it turns out to be what you must say. You see, this is the slippery road that we're, we're going down right now, right now, you know? So, you know, so, all of this shit that you think is helping you be a more evolved human being. And, you know, if this was 20 years ago, then trust me, there's still people that was snapping on his fucking stutter. You just probably see it in the comments. But there's still people that people saying, you know, and what the fuck, man? Just laugh. Like, certain shit is like we, we're getting a little too serious now out here in the world. But the thing is, Jamar, I don't think you'd feel that way. If it was me getting up on the radio and one day making light of something that was closely was close to your heart, I don't think you'd think of it as, as you'd be outside the station. They make light you'd be supporting of, the people who want to get make light of everybody. black people every day in the media. But me, every day. I, I, okay, but I'm talking about if someone specifically says words that hurt you. You would and you would support the people who protested that. You'd be like, "Oh, that's good. They're not fucking with it. They're not taking it. They shouldn't." You went. Remember back in the day, the tsunami song. 
at Hot 97. You remember that controversy many years ago? Mm -mm. Big controversy way back in the day during the uh, Hot 97 morning show. I think it was Miss Jones era. I forget. They made it made a made a terrible shitty parody about the, about the tsunami, and the Asian groups came together and fucking made people pay mm. money. People had to come out of pocket. Suspensions had to happen. It had to happen. I, I, when people say fucked up, hurtful things, I guess I don't have a problem with that. Especially, Jamar, especially me. I'm live every day for eight hours talking to motherfuckers who hate me. They're waiting for me, okay? I got cats waiting on me every day. If I can manage to get through it, knock on wood, I guess I, I don't feel bad for people who say stupid, hateful shit.